Are you high right now? I, I am not high right now, but I could Aww. be. Okay, <laughs> do it for me. Go on, take a bong hit. <laughs> the Mercedes Benz Interview Lounge. Danielle, it's kind of fun to meet new people, right? I love meeting you. It's like we, we're interviewing everyone in our neighborhood today. It's lovely. So now John Roberts is here. Hi, John. Hi. Thank you for coming over. <laughs> Thank you for having or me. Or up. Are you, are you, do you live downtown? Uh, I live weirdly in Midtown. Uh, oh, I like the buildings. <laughs> uh, I like to okay. wander around and just look up and be like, "Oh my god!" Um, and you know, my dad was always in the Upper East Side, so I'm a, right. I'm a New Yorker at heart. So you you know. just seem like a downtown guy to me. I don't know. Uh, I definitely spent a lot of time downtown in the '90s, the gay '90s. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Remember those? No. Oh, yeah. Hey, so John Roberts, as you know, uh, or you may not know, Bob's Burgers, of course. What's that? Yeah, you may not, but you may. But you, but you probably do. <laughs> I hope so. Bob's Burgers, which I mean, arguably, I don't. I think it's the funniest family-friendly show about cannibalism I've ever seen. Oh yeah, <laughs> well that was the pilot. You know, we that were we were cannibals in the pilot, um, and we were grinding up meat in the basement, but they were dead bodies. But then the network was like, "This isn't funny." <laughs> See, I, wa- I wanted you to stick with that. <laughs> What's that? Well, well, it is funny. It is funny. Uh, I mean, I've definitely waited tables before, so I wanted to grind up customers. But um, <laughs> uh, it's funnier just to have a nice, warm uh, family that's kind of broke. Well, uh, yeah. I, I got to tell you, uh, Linda Belcher, of course, is loved by all. But you, uh, but you want to do things other than Linda Belcher. Yeah, so. I'm. I, you know, if you Im- you imitate your mom all your life, you kind of become like psycho a little bit, like Norman. You know, it's like, um, you know, Norman. Uh, you know, it's. Uh, <laughs> and I, you know, definitely can act and sing. I can do a lot. Is there any managers out there? We got to find you one. Okay, <laughs> I, have a lot, I, yeah. you have a lot going on. I will tell you how exciting it must. Well, how excited I was for you when I was uh, following you on Instagram, and you were in Times Square and up on one of those Jumbotron things they had your your song playing Danger it was like the video was right there and you were like looking at yourself on the video how (laughs) surreal was that it was wild Uh, I never thought I'd end up on a billboard and uh, just for my music um, super exciting you know Bob's Burgers movie came out last year and we had a bunch of billboards for that too but this was uh, this was really special and obviously my, my mother's very impressed so yeah yeah well, I'm I mean, loving your hair too. You know, I feel like it's very you. Rick Springfield from back in the day or something. Oh yeah, well that was a wig. <laughs> um, that was a. W- I wear wigs a lot. Um, yeah, people think I look like Lou Reed. Uh, I was supposed to be David Hasselhoff though, so oh, um, it's okay. it's he's my muse for the, the video for Danger is my song. Um, that I would see. Get. I would love to see a union between you and Dave Hasselhoff. Huh? I would. Yes, absolutely. Maybe uh, not. We could do a duet, maybe. So I, yeah. I gotta, I'm going to tell everyone the, the story that you and I have a connection. That, yes, we do. But we, but not directly. It's like four degrees of separation. Yep. So my husband, Alex, was at a birthday party years ago. Years ago. For our friend Richie, Richie Piano, a Richie very Piano. Italian friend of ours. He's Italian. And so you were, I guess, begged to come to this party and uh, entertain people? Or oh, I, I wasn't begged. He, he paid me, and I was, <laughs> I, I was like, oh, give, can I have the money first? Yeah, I was. Uh, so, very, I know, so very, what were you doing back then? Where were you living, and how were, where did this start for you? I was in the East Village, and I, I forget. My manager got the call. Uh, it was like Joey Fatone, you know. Right. I was like, Joey Fatone in sync. Oh, oh my goodness. And uh, then I went to this very Italian party, and, you know, I was kind of like the clown, but I was my mom character, so... Just walking around with a wig on my head, um, and uh, and then I met your husband. Exactly, and so Alex says, "Here's a picture. It's me and John Roberts." I'm like, "This is weird. He's coming on my show in a couple of weeks." And then huh. my old friend Val DeLong calls, who's working with you on the on the music side. Yeah, it's like you got to have this guy on. He's great. And now here's Val DeLong. This is just kind of weird. I feel like the Earth may end sometime today. No, it's all not, happening. We got to play my song first. Okay, though. we will. Okay, we'll play your song. <laughs> yeah, and then it then it definitely will end. How that. cool is it though? Yeah. I mean, branching out into the music side of it because you've done the, the TV side of it and, and you started with the YouTube side of it. That's right. But now with a song out, what's it like? I mean, it's got to be a little different in the same at the same time. It's super exciting. Um, you know, we landed on the the charts, um, so it's like thirty eight on the media base, uh, getting radio play. Those and, are charts, um, by the way. Yes, charts. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm climbing the charts. Oh, the charts. Um, and um, yeah, and it's it's 
it's super exciting. The video is uh, has won all these awards um, around the world for film festivals and that kind of thing. So Good for you. It's a really funny, playful video. Um, you know, the song was produced by Junior Sanchez, great producer. I wrote it with Michael Moog as another writer. Um, and uh, we have a bunch of new songs coming out. So uh, I'm just going to do singles and see what sticks. Okay, but the difference between you know being a character on Bob's Burgers versus putting out a song, I mean... It's it's a whole different industry. It really is. They don't have a lot in common. So I mean, what what's your feelings about doing that versus a TV show or a movie? We got to talk. We got to talk about this upcoming movie, by the way. Oh, that's right. Well, okay. Well, Bob's Burgers is probably the best job I'll ever have, and um, I really just want to enjoy that and not have to audition all the time because it's really stressful. And with music, I can take my time and um, be creative and actually make something that I can put out into the world where people hopefully enjoy. So. Um, so it's out there, right? It's, it's 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 done. It's out there. They use it as they wish, right? Yeah, it becomes theirs. Yes. Hey, you said something I really loved. What? Bob's Burgers is the best job I'll ever have or I've had. And so I don't feel like I have to really go nutty to try to get other jobs. So you can kind of just relax and do it on your own at your own pace. Be your own boss. I'm very blessed uh to have this job for sure after like waiting tables for 25 years and uh and it's not lost on me how uh what a what a great job it is in showbiz a little under the radar and uh able to um do other projects and things like that and and just be employed in the entertainment business you know right i you know now, to be to be an employed actor this day and age is I, it's gold. I mean, you got a gig, you got a job, and I so do. you can so you can do all this other stuff and just consider it a hobby if you want, or just fun. Absolutely, and uh, and I'm enjoying it. So <laughs> I, I can tell. Yeah. Scary. Yes. We have some text coming in for yes. uh, for John Roberts. What do you see? This just made my morning tuning in. Bob's Burgers, one of my favorite shows, and uh. always a mood booster for me. Aww. I love Bob's Burgers, especially when I'm a little high. All right. And uh, Linda. <laughs> and oh, been a fan since. Oh, look at the tree. Oh, and the he tree. moved to the city and now he's gay. Oh, YouTube videos. Gay. Did, did, did the city make you gay? <laughs> oh, the city definitely made me gay. Is that what happened uh, to me? The Empire State Building. This, this... <laughs> oh, I was a Chrysler Building boy myself. So oh, no, okay. I go back and forth. <laughs> oh, that was you? Um, well, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to uh, the Christmas tree. I mean, yeah. it all started on YouTube. Yes. And you were just putting these videos out, just having fun. I did. Uh, you know, I performed in the East Village, all these characters. I'd have all my wigs lined up, um, and I would just tear through all the characters. And uh, the most popular were the tree and Jackie and Deborah. She's like, I would tape my nose up and be in like a bathroom stall waiting to perform for 10 people. And uh, <laughs> they were the crowd favorites. So when YouTube came around, we... You know, it was Christmas time and the tree, and uh, it kind of went viral for the first first time when that those things happened. So that's how Bob's Burgers came about. They saw you, well, as, well Linda, actually, on video. We, we need her in our show. Yeah, I mean, I was performing in mostly, like, queer venues in the East Village, so YouTube gave me the chance to kind of cross over into that other world and, um, you know, meet, like, uh, David Cross, Bob Odenkirk, um, really great people that were, uh, like, enthusiastic about helping me. So... YouTube really did, yeah, definitely. I love that. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about this movie that's coming out. Yeah. So, without giving out too much, but just enough. Well, you have something stuck up your butt? Uh, well, what? Right now? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, this is this is what Nate said. Nate said, you got to ask about the movie. He's got to ask about the movie. There's, there's Something's lodged in his butt. Go well, ahead. This is true. I did a movie with John Early. He's an amazing uh, comic, and it's going to be coming out this fall. Uh, it's called Stress Positions. Basically, takes place the summer of uh, COVID 2020. Um, and um, we're going through this divorce. I'm his ex-husband. Um, but uh, it's possible that during, I do have a butt shot uh, that I had to film, and I was very nervous because all of a sudden I had this zit on like the bottom cheek of my <laughs> oh, butt. Oh God. Um, but it went away, it don't went they away. Have, they have makeup people for that, don't I they? know, I had to like put like a face mask on my butt. Um, <laughs> and I was like swimming a lot, just like swimming back and forth in the pool, like go away, like please go away. Um, and then it only turned out to be like half a moon anyway. So, um, but I just want to see the movie now to see what my butt looks like. But what's, what's there's something lodged yeah. in your butt? Can we not, there's is this something some that might get lodged in my butt. Okay, so this is a spoiler. It's, it's a spoiler. <laughs> it's spoiler. It. No, no use in uh, crying over spilt milk. I don't know. What <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. Uh, it applies somehow to this. <laughs> something. Yeah. Um, it's uh, it's going to be funny. John's very funny. Well, here's the thing. 
It started with YouTube videos. Yes. Then we're talking about Bob's Burgers and, of course, all of your stage work here in New York City. Then music. Now a movie. Do you ever wake up, John, and go, who the hell am I? This is kind of crazy. Every day. Good. Yes. Good for you. I mean, especially right now. I'm R- like, well, why now? Because I'm talking to you and being on Z100. Do you even know what Z100 yeah. is? Of course. I grew up on Z100. You did? Where are you from? Uh, Jersey. Dirty Jersey. Really? Yeah. I grew up oh. in uh, Edison, New Jersey, uh, between Edison and Manhattan. My dad was on the Upper East Side. Okay. And um, yeah. Yeah, I've been here for many years. Yeah. I, Too many. I love this town. Do you really? Of course you I know, do. I have a friend of I was mine. Born in Brooklyn. Oh, you, really? Yeah. yeah. And ended up in Edison, New Jersey. Yeah. Well, after the divorce, you know, my right. parents, <laughs> Italian, Irish, swamp, womp. <laughs> 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 not a great idea, you know. Not a good idea. But I got my mom's Italian, so I got the good food. Thank God. Yeah. You got that. You're yeah. good. Yeah. A friend of mine who works with our good. show actually, he's a writer. Uh, he had he watched from his apartment upstairs, people breaking into his Jeep. Smashing mm. all the windows out and stealing everything, and it didn't happen overnight in like a, in, a, a, in just a few minutes. Yeah. They were out there during the daylight for like fifteen minutes, and, and this, no one changed it. No one charged them away. No one did anything, and it's like the city. The city is just it's kind of a scary place. Uh, well, it's yeah. You do have to have you know you got to keep your eye out, but it's also a magical the, place, and um, <clears throat> well, they'll take your eye out. I hope not. They'll Don't take my out. eye out. Oh. Yeah, I'll shoot your eye out. Um, <laughs> the thing is, you're an East Village guy. I mean, so East Village was kind of in a very fun, interesting place before the rest of Manhattan was. So yeah, I mean, uh, it was after college. I studied acting, and then I went right down to the East Village to just get inspired by a lot of drag queens, and um, you know, have have some time to discover discover yourself downtown. Let's. I mean. We're talking about the days when Alphabet City was a place you just didn't go unless you needed some smack. That's true. Um, and, uh, I, yeah, w- I was the limelight, all the clubs, all the good clubs, um, right. a lot of rave parties. Me and Junior Sanchez, we you know, we go way back to rave parties like, you know, NASA and uh, downtown. Um, you know, you'd get an invite and you'd have to go to a bus and then it was like a secret location. And, right. you know, everyone had like baby... Uh, <laughs> Like everyone was like a baby back in the day. <laughs> Raves, they had like little <laughs> bottles and stuff. It's like, like suckers. We're little babies, yeah. But um, and you yeah. watch the sun come up many times. That's right. Yes. Yeah. And right. you're still alive to talk about it. You should write I a book. That's your next thing. You got to write a book. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm, yeah. You're not taking me seriously. I would. You like, have I to. would write a book. Think about yeah. all the adventures that you've been through. Yeah. And you're like, God, no one would believe this. Yeah, they would. Sure. It's a good movie. I think so. It's entertaining. Well, who's on the phone? Shella. Shella, oh my God! Well, how come it's not up there? Hold on, we're having a technical breakdown. Hello, Shella. Hi. Say Hi. say hello to John Roberts. Hey, John. Hi, Hi Shella. Bob's Burgers. Thank you, Shella. Thanks for watching. Oh my God! Thanks for being the voice of Linda. <laughs> it's my pleasure. So, what do you like most about uh, John or Linda on Bob's Burgers? I I love the whole show in general. I think Linda is. So quirky and I love her relationship with Bob and I will say I was really surprised to hear, know that it was mostly a, like a male cast doing a lot of the women like the girls voice yes so I thought that was pretty awesome yeah it's kind of a tradition awesome. at Fox you know um, cross uh, you know voicing we have w- women playing boys men you know that's the beauty of animation yeah and, love uh, it. and hey John yeah oh sorry I was gonna say can you do the voice for me Yes, I can do the voice for you. What do you want me to say? <laughs> How would she feel if she knew you were high every time you watched Bob's Burgers? Oh, my God. Is that you? Are you high right now? I am not high right now, but I could Aww. be. Should okay, be, do it for me. Go on. Take a bong hit. <laughs> <laughs> do one for me. And there you go. The world famous Linda. Shala, thanks for listening to us. And uh, go tell your friends you heard uh, John Roberts on our show today, okay? Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> thanks, Elvis. Love you. Love you more. Thanks. There you go. <laughs> it's so weird My fans. seeing him do that. I'm st- standing in front of me, but I just, I- I'm-, I'm picturing someone else. I I'm know, but. Your mom. My mom. Your mom. She's beautiful. She's going to be 80 this year. Oh, God bless her. I know. We're throwing a party. Oh, I bet. We're having a party. What's her cocktail of choice? 
Oh, um, well, she likes vodka. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, she'll have, like, one vodka, and she'll be like, say goodnight to mommy. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, she likes she likes vodka. How great it is to meet you. And Likewise. How f- your story is just, it's still being told. It's still being written. And I, this book thing, I'm telling you, maybe not today, maybe not this year, but soon you're going to be like, okay, I have enough stories for this book. I'm going to do it. I absolutely. Can I plug my socials? You can plug everything. Oh, John plug Roberts, it. fun. Um, keep an eye out. I have singles coming out every month. We have remixes um, coming out July 23rd. Uh, Harry Romero, uh, DJ Gomi. Um, Ghetto Blaster and a uh, new single, Nothing for Something, and My Love coming out. Well, I got to play Danger, though. Yeah. I- I'm going to play it. Never. It was- <laughs> Molly, you in Danger, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Has this been on Z100 before? I don't think so. Have you ever heard this on the radio before? Yes, but not Z100, baby. Oh, okay. All right. From the top of the Empire State Building. There we go. <laughs> you know we're going to stand it. You know we're going to steal that. <laughs> Please. Call your attorney now. I, John, yeah, thanks for coming Josh, today. Josh, are you listening? Yeah, Josh, okay. attorney. Um, thank you, everyone, for watching Bob's Burgers, and I hope you like my music, too. Here's John Roberts in Danger. Thanks for coming in, John. Thank you. The Mercedes-Benz Interview Lounge.